Did you know that Lakeland was the number two fastest growing city in the nation? In the nation, it's mind blowing. What's making people flock to the Swan City? We're gonna be finding out right now. My favorite part about Lakeland is definitely downtown. It's the crown jewel of the city. A lot of people move here and they think, hey, I have to leave Lakeland to go do things or there's not much to do here. You're wrong about that. First of all, it's gorgeous. You have a botanical garden, which we've shown you before, but take a look at the view, right? You have lakes, all of the buildings and establishments on the water right here. And then in downtown, there's so much you can do. Ax throwing, cigar bars, all of the food spots are locally ran, so not a lot of chain restaurants. What I think about local, what I love about it is quality food, quality service, and you're walking around with the owners. You're probably eating lunch with the owners, but I'm gonna show you my favorite lunch spot that I like to go to. You're gonna love this. Let's take a look. So this is one of my favorite spots downtown, the Back Nine. I've been here before with my agents during lunchtime, but great food, great drinks. You obviously have the bay, so you have plenty of little fun sport activities. If you're really competitive like I am, it might not be fun for you to join me because we'll be just competing all day, but really cool spot. Now that is how you do lunch right there. Let's go. Fun fact, if you didn't know, Florida's largest employer actually holds their headquarters right here in Lakeland. They have five manufacturing facilities, they have a corporate office and a headquarters. It's Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Really cool. But a big portion of Lakeland's workforce is entrepreneurs and small business owners. That's what kind of keeps this ecosystem going. And the best way to grow as a small business owner or an entrepreneur is to be around like-minded people. So there's a new way that people are working. It's not from home, it's not in office, but it's co-work space. So you have a couple of these co-work spaces downtown, but a new one just opened up, Cohatch, and we're gonna go take a look. Let's do it. Cohatch is a network of co-working, office, meeting, and event space. It's a place where members have up to 34 plus locations throughout the U.S. that they would have access to. Uh, so if you're a member to one, you're basically a member to all co-hatches. Now some of the event rooms that you do have, which I think are very unique, are you have like a podcast room, mm, right? Yes. And then you have these large meeting rooms with these big um, kind of boards for people to present things to their team. Absolutely. And these are things that come with the membership, right? Absolutely. So members get actual packages of credits that they can use um, towards any of the meeting spaces or towards any of the event spaces. The thing that's been the most popular has been the podcast space. Yeah. Um, everything here is plug and play. Yeah. So within the space, you have a soundboard, you have four microphones, you have uh, the headphones. So you really need to bring nothing but the folks you're interviewing or the stories you're bringing to those podcasts. Some bullet points. Absolutely, <laughs> and present. This feels so Lakeland to me, Absolutely. right? I feel like Cohatch is Lakeland. I feel like this should be the headquarters. I know it's not. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, right? But could you tell us a little bit about Lakeland in your words? Like, what? how has it been so far? You've only been open for how long? We actually officially opened January 6th. Right. Lakeland has been incredible yeah. to us. They welcomed us with open arms and uh, immediately we found that there was an absolute need just because Lakeland is the second largest green city in the U.S., yes. which is crazy. That's what this video is about. Absolutely. <laughs> and so because of that, Cohatch immediately was like, hey, there is a need. Let's fulfill that need. The benefit to you working here is you get to see everybody. I do. I literally get to see everyone. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, if anybody wanted to reach out to you for inquiries or anything like that, where they, where can they reach you? Yep. Lakeland at Cohatch.com. Very nice. Well, we appreciate that. We hope to see you here and make sure you said that you saw this video.
You know what's something that I didn't bring up that's extremely important to me? Like, what are the family-friendly things that you can do in Lakeland? Where can you take the kids? Because there are no theme parks here, there are no beaches here. There's a time and there's a day for those things. But in Lakeland, it's more about engaging, learning, recreation, and just kind of getting out and having fun all while learning. So there's over three different museums here, from the Children's Museum to the Sun and Fun Center, where you can learn about airplanes and aerospace. Really, really cool. You have a 100-acre park that's going in South Lakeland. That's going to take some time for it to develop out. but it just came to Lakeland, the Bonnet Springs Park, October 22nd, 2022. It just opened up. This is a major, major thing for the city. We're gonna take a look at it right now. So here we are, we're at Bonnet Springs Park. It's about 168 acres, so it's larger than Disney's Magic Kingdom in itself and it's free. So you can come here, it's dog friendly, kid friendly obviously. The Children's Museum is here. There's a rooftop bar where the parents can kind of grab a drink, get something to eat, and just a ton of engaging activities. My wife actually brings our youngest daughter here all the time. If you're looking to not break the bank, and I know some of you are a lot like me, this is where you need to be at. All right, let's go ahead and touch on some real estate. And Lakeland is really diverse in this sector. I mean, you can find new construction homes. We can get you some 1920 historic bungalows if you wanna go that route. Or if you want some space and some acreage, you can definitely do that. And pretty much any architectural style that you know of, you can find right here in Lakeland. But two of the areas that pretty much everybody wants to be in is Lake Hollingsworth and South Lakeland. And when I tell you some of the most charming real estate that you can find in all of Central Florida, unparalleled communities with little to low HOA, mature oak trees everywhere mixed with like bodies of water and uh, red cobblestone roads and these eclectic blends of just different home styles. It really does feel like that dream hometown that everybody wants to be in. And I know it kind of seems like it can't be true, but I'm going to challenge you like to visit Lakeland, go to Lake Hollingsworth, go to South Lakeland and just check it out. Um, and if you have any questions, it could be anything. My team and I, we have multiple agents that are right here in the Lakeland area. So you could just give us a call or a text message and we would be happy to help you with that. But let's go ahead and jump back into the video. How long have you lived in Lakeland? My whole life. I was actually born in Lakeland Regional Hospital. Have you been seeing this place like really explode? I have been. It's kind of cool because I can still remember where Orange Groves used to be. Yeah, <laughs> no, they're I, not here anymore. How would you compare Lakeland to a Tampa or Orlando? So we have a lot of the fun things to do that Tampa and Orlando has, the restaurants, the fun things for the kids. We just don't have the theme parks. Yeah. But at the same token, we have more small town fun stuff to do. I can totally agree. What's your favorite restaurant here? The Back Nine. Ooh, I didn't tell her to do that. <laughs> I didn't tell. Why do you like the Back Nine? So Ethan and Jenna are two of my really, really good friends. Jenna was actually my son's teacher. And so I know whenever they started and how they started and all that. So I just love them. When, when we say small town, we mean small town. Yes. Teachers become they friends, become, <laughs> exactly. I live in South Lakeland, yes. Very nice, how do you like it? I absolutely love it. What's your favorite part about Lakeland? It's a, a big city with a small town feel. My personal favorite restaurant is Harry's. Palace Pizza downtown, for sure. So That's my mom's favorite. Out. Special shout out to Palace downtown. The joinery. The joinery is awesome. Have you had the barbecue there yet? I haven't had the barbecue yet. Best restaurant in Lakeland. Ouch. 1961 would be at the top. 1961, <laughs> yes. But Fresco's oh, is Fresco's, by second. Yes. How would you kind of compare Lakeland to like a Tampa or Orlando? We have heart. It's a small town feel, but it's also a very large city, which is really nice. That's a great way to put it. Well, there you have it, the Swan City. You can see why everybody is flocking here. It's a great place to raise a family, an excellent place to live, and it just might be your next home. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, whether it's here in Lakeland or anywhere else in the surrounding areas, my team and I would love to assist you with that. You can reach us at cclayhomes at gmail.com or simply text the number on the screen. I would love to stick around, but as long as you're subscribed, we're gonna see each other again. So until next time.